Good afternoon, team. Thanks for joining our orientation session. And let me firstly congratulate each one of you on taking up the offer with Wipro. So welcome to the Wipro extended family. Let me introduce myself. I hope I'm audible. Yes, you are Nirmala. Thank you. Let me introduce myself. I'm Katari Nirmala, the program manager from Wipro, takes care of all freshers joining across the globe. Team wishing you, are, uh, you all a very happy new year. You might be wondering why you have been called today. You are the freshers who have been selected for Wipro. And you are the first set of batch freshers whom we have called for this orientation session. Now, what is this orientation? I have my complete team who will take you through this. Now, let me give the baton to Mr. Vanraj, who will explain what the session is about. Over to you, Vanraj. Vanraj is not there, sorry. Uh, Rana. I'll hand over the baton to Rana. Over to you, Rana. Yeah, thanks, Nimela. Um, hey, uh, uh, all. I think the wish you a very happy new year. OK, and all of us congratulate uh, congratulating to all of you um, for your, uh, you know, being selected in Wipro and then joining us very soon. Hope I'm pretty much audible. OK, you're audible, Rana. OK, so uh, team, uh, the purpose of this call is just to give you a little bit of introductions about uh, this PJP orientation, which is a new joiner program for us and which we uh, kind of things, you know, means uh, drafted and designed for giving you a little bit of basics and kind of an onboarding through technology in the organization. The purpose of this is uh, uh, that there are certain basic knowledge of technology which is required for all of us to get onboarded uh, in terms of being effective as soon as possible. So uh, this is a kind of a model that we developed to provide you and share with you. So that means in your coming days, you can spend the time over there and get accustomed and get uh, familiar with certain technology platforms and certain technology areas. This is just to help you, just to think through, just to basically get into uh, on getting into the onboarded with the um, kind of a software engineering area. And especially means we are opening up and enabling you through this PJB program, few uh, basic tracks uh, like uh, like Java, .NET, uh, then uh, something in the UI front like a JavaScript and all those areas. Some of the basics about these, also certain cases around Python's and all those areas. So this will provide uh, a good understanding, a very basic understanding and fundamental areas. So that means in going forward, maybe means you probably will get into more into that and that probably will help you. So I would urge all of you to get into this and uh, go through these entire sessions, which is going to offer you, which will help you to uh, build your more competency and capability, which probably is coming down the line in a different way and different formations. But having said that means certain areas means if you have some knowledge, which always will help you. I think all the leadership team is here currently at this moment of time who are a part of the talent transformations team in Wipro. 
as well as our talent acquisition team also from Wipro. They are ready to help and we all are ready to help you. If you guys have any questions or any kind of a means, you know, uh, uh, inquiry about anything about Wipro and specific for the program going forward. OK, we also have a one team who is going to tell you means how to enroll these programs and how to get registered and how to access those programs. We have a video demo which will be provided to you and that will give you a very clear clarity in terms of uh, means how to complete this. And this is basically going to be a very, very good and very, very interesting, uh, you know, means uh, uh, way forward for all of you. I wish all of you a very good luck. I wish all of you a very good successful learning journey. OK, to become as soon as possible and become more effective. Okay. Thanks to all of you and for joining and um, I will hand it over to uh, Babesh, who is our um, talent acquisition partner. Babesh, probably you can just elaborate a little bit more about what we are trying to achieve over here. Thanks, thanks Rana for the uh, quick introduction and I think it's, it's, it's wonderful to see uh, we've got close to about 1706 attendees and I'd like to begin with saying congratulations to each one of you. I think uh, this is the first of a kind orientation session that we are having uh, for the 2022 graduates. Uh, the reason why we have handpicked a few of you who are already attending this call is, is thanks to you performing uh, very, very well in the in the assessment that we conducted. We are at a stage wherein uh, as as Nirvala and Rana uh, would have already told you at a stage where we want to start off with your fundamental training programs. There are a lot of other uh, steps as well, which we will apprise you of uh, pretty soon. So, so kind of stay tuned. Uh, there is a lot of uh, positive information, uh, some surprises as well, which we don't want to really talk about right now, but but uh, stay tuned. You will get to hear a lot more from us in the coming weeks. Uh, having said this, I think what's also important uh, is to ensure that each one of you attend these training programs uh, at the fastest rate possible. The faster you complete the fundamental courses, we will be able to give you the next set of uh, requirements in terms of what's expected of you. And accordingly, that will pave way for you to become a part of the Wipro family as soon as possible. So, so I am good. Uh, I think Rana, the next is uh, we're going to give them a demo, right? Yes. Correct. Yes. Uh, before we get into the demo, may I request Mr. Kotur? to speak a few words to set the expectations to the freshers. Thank you, Nirmala. Thank you so much, team. Uh, thank you very much for joining in. First and foremost, um, hearty congratulations to all of you for um, you know, being part of uh, this wonderful world. Um, you know, also sincerely thank you for joining in. Right. So our collaborative team, so talent acquisition, your first phase, then the team talent transmission, your next phase. And um, the entire journey is to appreciate you uh, for your time, your brilliance demonstrated through our campus processes as well as in the new transition. First and foremost, uh, wish you and uh, your family very, very happy new year and uh, welcome to the um, you know WWW, my wonderful world of April. You know, the journey is to, you know, being relevant, being uh, uh, much ahead of the learning curve. From this today's orientation to next couple of weeks, so you will be taken through the learning, which is beyond your academic curriculum. Your time, apart from your academic work, requested to be invested. Make a useful time either in the evening or in the morning to access the content anytime, anywhere, any device. So team will demonstrate the project based learning approach app Wipro's in house product to help you to steer your learning. The fundamental first. You can build advanced next. The foundational skills that you learn master will fast track your career ahead. So our friend uh, Bhavesh, you know, give you a surprise note. I'm sure that you have to unlock the key for that surprise note by putting right amount of time, the energy and the passion to complete the content that is going to be enabled to you 
in the next three to four weeks. We understand apart from this work, you will also have a college work, your project work and many other academic internship or something like that. So my sincere request to each one of you to clearly demarcate uh, two hours per day or three hours per day, depending upon the time. So to get the content and complete the associated hands on. The learning is not just a theory. It is about you doing your practicals. So Nirmala will help you with the right mentors any time of the working days. So there will be a scheduled calls by the mentors. Whenever you have a concerns, queries, doubts, the subject matter experts will come on or the discussion forums or on the call in a stipulated time. They will solve your problem. Make use of it and come up with flying colors. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Kotur, for setting the expectation. Thanks, Bhave and Rana. Now, uh, dear friends, now we'll have a demo of this portal which will help you to how to register and how to go about your learning. Now, uh, first thing is you don't have to take any notes. Whatever demo we are going to give you will be sent as a PDF to your personal email IDs. So you just concentrate on what is happening. And as a part of the global data protection, please do not record this session. In case you want to record, you'll have to take permission of the attendees, then only be able to take it. OK, over to you, Suresh, for the demo on PBL app. Thanks, thanks, Nirmala and team. I uh, hope I'm audible and clear. Yes. OK, uh, so good afternoon, everybody. Uh, as Alirus has pointed out, uh, I'll be taking you through the uh, demo for the next 30 minutes uh, on the portal where you'll be engaged for your learning activity. So we'll go step by step. Uh, we'll make you understand the complete uh, process. What are the steps uh, that is required on this portal and what are the learning elements that you will be doing it? So as uh, Nimra has already informed uh, you, there is no need for you to have a note of uh, all these things. Uh, the complete guide will be sent to you with a step by step process that can help your journey. So all you need to do for the next 30 minutes is uh, have a glance into your screen, understand the process, understand various uh, elements that are involved, uh, which will help you. Your accounts to this portal will be activated by end of the day today. So your uh, actual login and process can start from 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Now what we're going to see now is all this process. We'll look into your uh, first time registration process, uh, then your subsequent regular uh, logins. What is the learning content that is available to you in terms of uh, modules and capsules and the other extra elements that will help you for your learning. So the first point is you need to do a self registration into the portal, which will help you to access uh, the portal and continue further. So what is the process that is required for self registration is simple. So that is what uh, we are going to see right now. So to do the self registration, what is that required is you should have two elements with you. One is the personal ID, the same personal ID which you have given for our Wipro records, and then you have an another thing called a superset ID. So these two are the key elements uh, which will help you to the process. Now, uh, in your screen, you're able to see the URL of the portal. It is talent.next, talentnext.wipro.com uh, slash PBL app. So this is the URL which you'll be using to access our learning portal. Now, what is the process? The very first time when you open this URL, you should get registered, right? So you should get a self registered. When you open the URL for the first time, you get the screen wherein there is a sign in process. And at the bottom, if you see, there is a link uh, for 
a self registration. So you have uh, something called a sign up now. So just click on the uh, sign up now. This is a one time registration into the portal. So once you start the self registration, all you need to give is your personal email ID, right? So you provide your uh, personal email ID. Once the email is given in the first box, uh, there is option for you to send a verification code. So click on send verification code. Immediately to your email ID, you will get a six digit OTP. So and an additional text box will come in over here. Provide the OTP. Post that the bottom boxes has to be filled up. You are setting your own password. You give your display name and the given name. Such a simple process. It's a one time process. So once these informations are being provided, just click on the create button. Your account will be created. Once that is done, then for the regular activities, you can just go with a sign in process, right? So sign up is registration and in the sign in, you'll be asked only with your email ID. So provide the same email ID and give the password which you had set by uh, yourself to continue further, right? So once you sign in for the first time, that means you have been authorized to use our URL, all right? So this first setup is what is being done to make sure that you are allowed to access our URL. Now, once that is successfully done, you land into the main page of the PBL app, which you are seeing on the screen. And for the regular activities on a daily basis, you get this page opened directly. And all you need to do is just click on the login button on the top, provide your email ID and the password to gain access into the system. So what is the steps that is going to happen here? You are going to provide your email ID and password, right? So once you provide that, you get a verification code. Every time you'll be getting a verification code on your email ID, no SMS will be sent. It is only on your email ID. So you need to provide the email ID, get it verified with an OTP and then continue. All right. So these are the steps that you are seeing. So you have to click on send verification code to get an OTP, uh, get the OTP on your mail, provide it and get yourself verified. All right. Once that is done. So this is the first part of your sign in process. Right. So once you give this sign in, once you are successfully authenticated, you get into the next stage of your process. So what is the next stage? You get a welcome message. Right. So if your authentication is successful, you get a welcome message. And here it is asking for your PBL app ID. Right. So the first set is done. Now the second part is it is asking your PBL app ID. Now, what is the PBL app ID? It's nothing but your superset ID becomes your PBL app ID. I repeat, your superset ID, which you already have, becomes the PBL app ID for you. All right. So your email ID should be the same, what you're given in the pro records, and the PBL app ID should be your superset ID. So once you provide that, you will be able to get into the content. Now, in any case, there are some issues over here. This process, you get some three uh, different kind of errors, which uh, also will be explained here. One, if you're going to give a wrong superset ID, right? If you're giving a wrong superset ID, then you get a message called invalid PBL app ID. So if you're getting this message, Kindly ensure that you are giving the right PBL app ID, your superset ID. Ensure that you are not giving any extra spaces, uh, pair or post, so that you can avoid that message. The second screen, if you see, you are getting a message account not found or invalid. What does this mean? You have done a login with an email ID which is not given in our records, right? Probably you might have given a personal ID. On Wipro records is different, but what you've done in your self-registration is 
different. If that is the case, again, you will not be able to gain access, right? So just cross check what is the email ID that you have given and what is the email ID you have registered and follow the right process. The third screen, what you're seeing here happens if there is a uh, delay in doing all this process, right from giving your email ID to OTP to the PBL app ID. If there is a network disconnect or if you're taking too much of time, say more than 40 seconds, then your session expires. You, all you need to do is uh, just click on the re-login button, re-login and continue, right? Now, once all these things are done, you have successfully logged in. Now comes your learning path. What is there in your learning? Your learning is divided into two segments. One is called foundation and the other one is called core learning. So you have a foundation part to learn as well as there is a core part to learn. So first, uh, let's see what is that foundation all about. So this is where you get it. You have the foundation and PJP core. Now, once you click on the foundation, you will get into the foundation landing page where there are a section called foundation, which will uh, consist of four basic courses that is being aligned to you. So what are those four? It is like operating system, database fundamentals, uh, OOPS and web programming. So these are the four elements which you know, any fresher uh, coming into the IT industry should be aware of the basics, right? So if you have already known through all these things, you can just do a recap on these activities. So you can just click on any of these uh, four courses. All these are video based learning. You can get into the video bytes of uh, these courses. Once your learning is done, you will get a uh, quiz enabled for these courses. Attend the quiz to find out where you stand on this particular learning. So there are four foundation courses for you. Once you are done with it, on the same page, you have something called IT trends. So there is a difference between foundation and IT trends. Foundations are basics. However, when you get to the IT trends, those will talk about some of the emerging uh, technologies that are available in the market, something like uh, an introduction to what is a DevOps, you know, what is AI ML, uh, how do you use a Git or Maven kind of thing. These are introductory uh, level videos again, which will help you to get a first hand idea about what these niche skills are all about, right? So these two are the core parts that you will have it on foundation. Once that is done, you move to the major part, which is what you call as PJP core. So the PJP core, you can come from the main link or the uh, home page, or here you have a link called PJP core. Now, once you land into this PJP core, that is where your actual technological stream learning happens. Now, whether all of you will have all the same content? No. We have mapped a group of candidates to different technologies based on the business requirement. So uh, some of you might have been mapped to Java, some on .NET, some on Python, um, no, that kind of technologies. So whichever stream you are being allotted, you will get the right content of that particular stream. Now for the purpose of the demo, what I'm showing you is uh, Java content. Whichever stream you are being mapped, you'll be able to see on the center of your screen, um, you have something called a stream, which says what is that you know, stream that you have been mapped to, right? Having said that, whatever stream you have been mapped, either it's Java, .NET, or say Python, the layout, the learning journey, the content flow is going to remain same. So. What are you seeing here is going to remain same. Uh, only the technical uh, modules is going to have a difference based on your screen. Right. Before I go further, what is the difference that you're going to make it in this learning? Right. Normally in the college days, we uh, spend more time 
uh, of a learning on theoretical aspects. However, here the learning journey is going to be a little different. Here we focus more into hands on, more into practical. The more you, you know, uh, put your hands uh, into doing programs and getting the output, the more you learn. So the approach that we are going to follow, the framework that we are going to follow here is what is called as project based learning. PBL shortly forms for project based learning and here the motto is I do and I understand. So which means you are going to do a lot of projects, a lot of hands on uh, when you start the learning over here. Now what are the elements available on the left side? What you get is your menu navigation. In the menu navigation, if you see there is a generic uh, headings available on the top, like getting started. And then you have two divisions called a tech modules and capsule. So how to easily identify between a capsule and module? The blue ones that you see on the left side are called modules. And the gray ones that you see are called capsules. So I'll explain on that part uh, when we proceed further. So the more importance is given on the modules, the blue ones that you see here and all the modules irrespective of the technology will follow a uh, same format and process. Now when I click on any of these particular modules, say for example, I'm opening the Java fundamentals module. Each module opens up with four parts. All right, so each module will consist of four parts. That is nothing but mini project, topics to learn, learning outcome and sample questions. So this is the same layout which you'll get on any of the tech module. So if you see here, every module starts by a project. So you open the first section, mini project. You will get one or two projects over that. Click on that project. You get the project document opened on a new tab. All you need to do is first understand what is this project all about? What is the requirement of the project and expectation, right? So that will be clearly defined on the document. Now you are you going to do the project immediately? No. The flow is there is a project. There is a requirement. To do that particular project, I may need to learn certain things. So if you can see that there is something called topics covered. So to do this particular project, I need to know about the Java architecture, language basics, flow control and array, right? So I'm not going to start the project immediately. I have understood the requirement. I'll go to topics to learn. Once you get into topics to learn, the assigned topics will be given to you. Maybe four to five uh, topics based on the module. For each topic, you have two sections. One is the learning material available for you to understand that particular topic. And the second thing is a set of hands on assignments, which is very specific to that particular topic, right? So here if you see there are uh, four topics covered on this particular module. Now what type of learning content you're going to get for each of these topics? The learning content is curated in such a way that uh, there are different format of learning available to you for a same topic. So there will be PDF files, right? Which is repos related contents. Uh, there'll be external website links. There'll be YouTube uh, kind of video links available. All talks about the same topic. So whichever is convenient for you in the learning. Some of you might be very comfortable in uh, reading a document, a PDF file. Uh, some will be good at understanding via a video learning. So whichever suits you, you can go with either one or multiple ways of learning on that particular topic. Once your learning is completed, come down. You will have a set of hands on assignments for that particular topic. Right. Um, based on the topic, the number of assignment differs. So you have a set of questions in the form of assignments. Where you'll be doing all these things, it will be on your local uh, machine. You will have the required uh, softwares. Uh, what software is required? You will have a guide, a separate guide for that. 
Based on that, you can have the necessary uh, editors ready with you. You can understand these questions. Uh, keep going, follow a proper naming convention and complete these assignments. Once a particular assignment is completed for a tracking, against each of the assignments, you can see a checkbox available. Click on that checkbox and on the top, you have something called update completion status. Uh, click on that button to ensure a marking is done for this particular assignments. So these are the main part which you're going to do. Once the learning is completed, once the assignments are completed, which means now you are ready to give complete the assigned projects. So go back to the project. Since you have learned all the necessary things for that particular project, you are good to go and complete the given project. Right? So this is the flow that is going to happen on any of the modules which has been assigned to you. You may have say eight to ten different modules available and all the modules follow the same process. The other two sections here is one is the learning outcome uh, which sets the expectation from this module and the other beautiful thing is the sample questions um, which help you to do a recap. So all you need to do is you should be able to answer these questions by yourself. If you're able to answer, that means you are good at that particular module. Else, uh, please go back and relearn that particular topic. So this is all about the uh, different modules that are available to you and you have to follow the process as defined here. So this is the first, uh, or is it, the first aspect of your learning is the foundation courses. The second aspect is uh, completing the different modules which are available on uh, your particular stream. The third point that comes into picture is very important and very crucial and critical here. Now, uh, might be in our college days, the aspect of writing program might be different, right? So it's, a, it's a general uh, perceptions like no, uh, all these days we are concerned about uh, writing a program and we are happy when we get a zero compilation error and uh, get some output right so that is how we uh, do normal programming but when you come to an industry the process is little different it is not about just writing a code just writing a program it is all about how best your program performs how best uh, the output is generated how uh, in a you know, best time and memory management is handled on a particular program. So if you want to do all those things, then definitely uh, you should have a good problem solving knowledge and the techniques to be adapted for the same. So to improve that caliber, we have a quite bit of capsules which are given in the gray color. That is what you call as logic building capsules. So there are uh, four to five documents available to you which uh, talks about different approaches which you can learn in uh, building the logics and the various problem solving techniques related to different kind of scenarios. So you can go through all these documents. Apart from that, once you uh, complete the learning on the problem solving techniques, we have given lot of practice assignments for your logic building activities. There are close to 50 to 60 such uh, demo links available to you. Wherein you have a platform for you to write your own code against a problem statement, test your code against a set of predefined test cases to see whether you are able to crack the logic and clear all the test cases. So there is a platform called Metal, which is integrated over here. And these are the links that you are seeing. Uh, like this, there are close to 50 to 60 links and the problem increases from easy, medium to difficult. So you can start practicing all these uh, programs. When you uh, open this link, you can just copy and paste these links in your new browser tab, get into that uh, window, start uh, typing your coding and practice, right? So as I told you, all this uh, platform is 
on something called metal. On the main menu, you also have a guide called metal usage guide, which will help you to understand how to use that particular platform. So this is the uh, third major element for you, which will help you to improve your logic building capability. All right. OK, so you are doing your projects. You are doing your hands on assignments. You are doing your logic building activity. Now what next? So after you complete all uh, your assignments and projects, uh, it has to be uh, somehow been given to us for the review and checks. So how do you send your completed works to us? So that comes an another tool called code completion tracker. Shortly we call it as CC tracker. Uh, the link is available on the menu section and there is a clear step by step guide document also available on this CC tracker. So here uh, when you open the CC tracker, it asks for your credentials. So here it's very simple. You provide your superset ID as the default username and password if you have not changed it. And then once you successfully log in into this CC tracker, according to the stream that has been assigned to you, the same modules will get reflected on this CC tracker. So if you have uh, if you have to Java, the Java modules will reflect. If it is .NET, you'll get the .NET modules reflected. And there will be two sections. One is the project section and the other one is the hands on section. This is the place where you are going to upload your submissions. Right. So what is the process here? How you need to upload? There are two things which you need to select. One is which for which module uh, these numbers are being given to you, which module you are going to upload. So select this button and you have to come down to see what you are going to upload. Are you going to upload a project or are you going to upload an exercise hands on? So what should be the file name? What is the format of the file to be created is given on the top that yellow and you no. Know, this orange remarks will help you to understand what is the name of the file that you need to create. Only a plain text file or a zip file is allowed for uploading, right? And there is a proper naming conventions to be followed, which is given on the top. So follow those instructions. When you are creating a zip file, ensure that the zip file contains only the plain source code of your hands on or project. No libraries, no jar files, DLs, EXEs uh, to be included in the zip file. If that is the case, your file will get rejected. I repeat, so please ensure follow the instructions and upload only the raw source file of your activity. So you have selected your module number, then you are selecting whether you are uploading a project or an exercise. Now choose the file. You choose your right zip file and click on the upload zip file button. Your file will go for a malware check. If things are fine, your file will get uploaded. If there are any issues in your uploading, you get the relevant messages. All right. So once it is successfully uploaded, it will not immediately get reflected against the particular module. It goes for a background check. And only then it gets updated against that particular module, right? So against every module, you'll be able to see how many uh, files you have uploaded or what is the submissions that is being done. If your file is successfully uploaded, you get a green tag with the date and timestamp of the upload. If there are any issues, you get a red tag warning, right? So that way you can understand uh, whether your file is being uploaded properly. This is what we'll be also tracking. So before I move further, one question that will arise here is how many zips, uh, how many files I can upload against a particular module? Do I need to create all the exercise into one zip file or separate? The suggestion is already there in the screen. For every topic, you can have all the exercise combined together as one zip file. 
for one project, one zip file. In any case, you feel that you uploaded a wrong file, you need to delete or change it. You don't have an option to delete. However, you can re-upload a new updated zip file and the recent file will be taken for consideration. So this is what you need to do on the CC tracker. Now the last part of the activity here, you are going to do it on a remote activity. You are learning. What happens if you are stuck in something? Might be on your learning or uh, uh, might be you have a need a clarity or uh, some doubts to be clarified on your code, something of that kind. So how do you get a support? That is where the discussion forum will come into picture. So again, the link is there on the main page. So once you open the discussion forum, the process is given on the screen. You'll be providing your username and password. Once you get into the forum, again, based on the stream that has been alerted, you get all the same modules listed over here. Now, all you want to do is, suppose say you are uh, learning a module called wrapper class and you have a doubt there. So go to the wrapper class forum, right? All the forums are listed. You just go to the wrapper class forum. There you have a place to post your query with your descriptions and if required a screenshot. So you can just post it on the thread on the forum. So what happens here? There are other colleagues of you who are also part of this particular forum. And if uh, somebody is already able to uh, have a solution for that particular case, uh, the thread keeps moving. He can give some suggestions. You can try it out and that uh, the communication still gets processed. Our team will also be there as part of these discussions and wherever is required, the team will pitch in to post their replies to your queries. So this is what you'll be doing on your discussion forum. Uh, and this discussion forum is purely for this technical aspect of PJP learning. So you have sections only to deal with your specific uh, topics. Please post your queries on the relevant forum to get it addressed. No generic uh, queries regarding your onboarding or other things will be able to post here. This forum will be purely for your technical learning. So before I close, the last part of thing is your dashboard, which is again part of your uh, PBL app a portal, which gives you the position of where you stand against your completion. So this will be available on the top of your uh, portal. You have something called my dashboard. You can just open that my dashboard to see where you stand in completion. So what is the percentage of completion? Uh, and what is the completions on project and the topics against each module. So these are the various elements of your learning. So with this, I have reached uh, the end of this presentation. Before I wind up and open up for queries, uh, I will just close it with few of the points which you need to uh, take into consideration for a smooth learning journey. Point number one. This access is given for your exclusive usage. The portal URL which you are seeing is accessible 24 bar 7 for your usage on any of the devices. So you can access the portal from your desktop, laptop, tab or even from the browser of your mobile device. So you can access from anywhere. Point number one. Point number two, the credentials which you are going to have is for exclusive usage. So please do not share your credentials uh, for your friends who are not part of this program. If there are two parallel access, your session will be blocked. So please ensure that your access, your login is happening from one device. Point number three, you should have a steady net connection to access the portal. If there is a delay in your network, you may face some challenges or slowness. In that case, please check your connection and continue further. 
Point number four, this is a restrictive portal for your learning. And as per the security norms, we have kept a parameter called session timeout. That means uh, maybe you have been familiar with all the other uh, websites like IICTs or any banking applications. You have logged in, but you are not active on the website for 15 minutes. Your session automatically expires. So post 15 minutes, probably you're doing some hands on or you're out for something. If you click on any of the links, you'll get a message that your session is expired. So nothing to worry. Go for a re-login and continue your learning. So with this, I will complete my demo process. Hope uh, you have understood the end to end learning journey on the portal. All the points that we have discussed till now, this entire guide will be shared with you, which can help you in handy, right? So with this, I'll stop here. Thanks for your patience in understanding. Uh, and then over to you, I think we can open up for queries. Thanks a lot, Suresh. Uh, the demo was really useful. I could get each and every point clear. Uh, team, thanks for patiently hearing and listening to the demo. Now you can put your questions in the chat. We have received lots of questions. We'll take up a few questions and the rest of the questions we will surely answer. Now team, first one question that I've always seen in the chat window is uh, I have not received the mail for this orientation session my friend received. So I have taken that and joined the session. Is there anything wrong? Absolutely no issue, but I would like Chandan to answer this question, please. Chandan, are you there? Let me just check. Yeah, Chandan is there. Uh, let me repeat the question, please. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, Chandan. Chandan, uh, many of them have written that, you know, all of us have got the LOIs or all those things, but uh, all of them have not been called for the session. Only few of them have called and I took the link from my friend and joined the session. Okay, so the question is that uh, why have uh, uh, there are only a small section of people been invited yes. for this session today and not everybody? Right. right. Okay, so yes. I, I think um, there's the reason we have we have uh, invited a small subset of people for this session is because you know definitely uh, you know you guys you guys have been stacked ranked based on a performance in the assessment that you guys have taken right and if you are here is because you have stood higher in this stack ranking that we had done uh, you know that's a that's the, that's the answer right and uh, if you ask me you should not have forwarded those links to your friends right so if you have received the invite at the first place is how you should have attended um but this is this is an opportunity uh, based on the uh, how well you have performed in the assessment so that you are here. Babish, do you want to add anything? Yeah, I think uh, you captured it well, uh, Chandan. But but just to add there, uh, I think one, let us be cognizant of not forwarding these links. The reason why we share it with a specific cohort uh, is for categorizing you into batches. So if there are people who have joined this call uh, who did not receive the link, anything that we said or will say may may not be relevant to you. So I think you are just uh, adding to that. I also see that there are a lot of questions where people have asked uh, the similar question in the fashion saying that my friends have received it, I have not and all of that. So so, so as we were saying, one, uh, there is a specific uh, set process that all of us follow, right? And for here as well, all the people who have been given the LOI will be converted into specific batches and each batch will have a separate training start and end date. So the ones who have been invited for the sessions are the folks who have scored uh, the highest in the assessment and thus we have created a cohort. Right. There are some more questions that I, I, I pick up uh, from the comments is uh, a lot of you have been talking about uh, when will the training period start? So, so as uh, Nirmala and team are talking about, the training period starts from tomorrow. Uh, we will share a, a detailed document which will highlight 
uh, things that we'll have to do. And Suresh, I think, uh, took a lot of time to help us understand how and what and why we'll have to do that. So I think it's important for all of you to ensure that you complete the required modules on time so that we can take you forward with the respective process. Please ensure that you do not start forwarding any of these documents to your uh, friends, colleagues and all of that because this will not help. Right? We have a different program altogether which will come for all the batches and for this specific batch, uh, we have a different training program. So, so forwarding this link to others will not really help. Two, I also see that there are talks about uh, will there be any stipend? So the answer is no. Uh, this is uh, more or less ensuring that you are uh, trained in fundamental trainings before we actually bring you up to speed with some specific training programs wherein you will be deployed in. But for that, there is no stipend as such. And, and yes, I mean, some of you have asked about internship. You can consider this period as internship period, but there will be no stipend uh, involved. Uh, there I see a lot of questions around Turbo, right? Uh, we were talking about uh, some element of saying that uh, the reason for you guys to be uh, invited in the very first batch is for a reason. While I don't want to spill uh, a lot of beans here, we will very soon come back to each one of you uh, to share more details about the whole upgrade program. But a lot of that is also subject to you completing the fundamentals that we've been talking about. So you complete your required training modules and we will come back to you uh, as far as the whole upgrade program is concerned. Uh, there are some questions on BGV. I think you will have to all write to manager.campus at wipro.com for all your BGV needs. Uh, the other questions on when will the offer letter start? So Chandan, do you want to uh, chime in here and, and talk about what is our, our uh, offer letter timelines? Then. Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, offer letters, guys. We'll start sending the offer letters. Uh, I think hopefully from next week onwards. And uh, you know, so with this new year, we have will you know reconfigured our offer template. So I think some of you will start receiving it from next week onwards. That's the that's what we are shooting for. Uh, so yeah. So that's the short answer to it. Perfect. So I think next week and maybe in the next, uh, you know, once we start in about a week's time, all of you should just leave your offer letter. Perfect. Thanks. Yeah. And, and guys, uh, while while we've been talking about uh, information not to be shared, this is one information that please share uh, with with all your friends, colleagues who have got LOIs. So we've also received a lot of queries around uh, some of you receiving BGV links, but not receiving LOIs. You guys can ignore LOIs. Uh, we will start sharing offer letters to all of our selects uh, starting next week. And as Chandan uh, pointed, it will take us one week to 10 days. So by hopefully by 20th of January, all of you will receive the offer letters, including people on the call and people who are not on the call, uh, your friends, colleagues who already have an LOI or at least have a BGV link from our end. Sorry, yeah, just, just a word of just a word of caution, guys. Uh, so I know that some of you may have forwarded this invite of today's session to your friends, but do not do that with the offer letters. OK, understand that the offer letters are personal and confidential. If if you're. If any of you have not received and if your friends have received and you know they want to know where their offer letters are, ask them to reach out to manager campus rather than you know any of you sharing your personal and confidential information with your friends. OK, you can tell them that uh, you know, they'll also receive their offer letters, but do not forward any of these documents that comes from Wipro to you guys on a personal email. Okay. Thanks, Chandan and Bhavesh. Uh, just to add on, only those who have received this mail, your superset ID would be enabled for you to log in to the PBL app. Those whom we have not called for the induction, as Chandan and Bhave said, we will have batches. When we call you at that time, it will get enabled. Point number two, I'm so happy to see that many of you are good at multitasking. You were trying to log into the portal simultaneously and have said, you know, superset ID says it's invalid. We have purposefully not enabled it after this orientation session 
that's what suresh clearly said that from tomorrow morning 9 o'clock you will be able to log in i am really happy to see the keenness for you to learn okay so this answers many of the questions there is no separate internship if there's anything you will be give uh, sent a mail so do not worry now what would be the uh, time period is it time bound yes it is time bound the end date would be february 27th what happens if you don't we'll, we will look into it at that time and then revert back to you okay with this we have you know answered most of the questions and some of you have said you have a primary email id and a secondary email id in superset can bavesh or chandan uh, help them which email id is being used so it's, it's always the primary email id so so if in case uh, let's say the secondary email id is xyz@gmail.com and you are using that Uh, we request you to log into superset and make that switch uh, so that you start giving getting the required information for us the information uh, always goes to the primary email id thanks chandan team in case your primary email id you are not able to log in you can uh, send us a mail to head.pjp@wipro.com we will have all this information in the guide that we will be sending by the end of the day so those who have not attended but have received this mail communication for orientation also will be able to log in even for them they can access those whom we have not called will not be able to access the portal right now when your chance or when your batch is being called at that instance you will be able to log in to the portal I hope this is clear. Okay. With this, thanks. Any other inputs you would like to give, Chandan, Babesh, Rana? Before no, we wind me, this. From me, I just wanted to know. I just wanted to say that means, guys, happy learning. That's the main thing. I know means you guys are asking for means what will happen. We will not close it. it's not yet anything like a decided or anything the purpose of this link to share with you for you to get onboarded with a better capability better competency effective way of making you effective for the journey so please take it up as a learning don't take it up as a kind of a you know uh, being a competitions with each other it is individual all of you should be very capable enough so we are helping you and we are trying to help you as much as possible any sort of help or support you need as uh, babesh chandan and uh, nirmala mention reach out to us we will definitely help you guys out okay thanks a lot thanks a lot for the leadership team who has joined today and thanks a lot to all of you who have joined the session and wish you all a happy learning Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All Thank the you best. All. Thank you. Bye.